Hello everyone, my name is Philip McDonald. I'm a Special Collections Librarian here at the Special Collections Research Center at NC State University Libraries. In this video, I hope to show you how you can make a zine using our Google Slides and our digitized materials. Here, right now, we're looking at the slides themselves and these are the different sections. The first slide has a little bit of basic instructions. The second shows kind of the orientation of the cells when making the scenes. Um, this is especially helpful to look at while making the scene. And third is a template you will actually be using and I will be using and, and print out to create the zine. And fourth are just some uh, directions for how to fold it once it's printed. Uh, I will In this video, I will also show you how to do that. In thinking about NC State University through the lens of beloved community, legacy, and creativity, I'm drawn to the architectural history here. I've worked on a few projects at the libraries that highlighted not only our special collections holdings, but the living spaces around NC State University. Um, my favorite architect connected to the university is George Matsumoto, so for this video I'll be making a zine on his life and his work. Now I'm going to show you how you can look through our digitized collections on d.lib.ncsu.edu. Uh, first, I'm going to just search for George Matsumoto uh, to see what comes up. Now looking, I'm going to search through the results and find a portrait of him. Once I find the portrait, I'm going to, do, I'm going to click on it and look at it. Uh, to download this image, uh, just click on the icon at the bottom left corner of the media viewer and save to your computer. Once I found the portrait, now I'm going to look for images of his work that would be great for the zine itself. Um, I have found a scrapbook that we have digitized that has a lot of materials that highlight uh, his work. And um, I'm hoping to find images on the Matsumoto house. Uh, it's my favorite house in Raleigh. He designed it for himself and his wife while he lived here. And, and it also has a twin right next to it. I found a few images in this scrapbook, and so I'm going to download them. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use all the images, but uh, I want a good amount, so I have a selection while making my zine. Now I'm going to work on the zine itself. Remember to look at the guide above the template to know how to orient your words and images and know what specific pages you're working on. So for the front, I'm going to create a text box and write his name and his dates along with his portrait. For the image and the portrait, I'm dropping the image into the slide. And now this is a really cool thing about Google Slides. You can adjust and edit the image just by double clicking on it and manipulating the black border to get the exact uh, image frame you want. Then once you got the size and the look you want, you can expand it or make it smaller to fit into the zine. Now I'm going to work on some uh, copy slash text for the zine. On a separate doc, I have some words that I've wanted to use for his bio. And so using a text box, I create the heading and the content. Um, again, now make sure your words are oriented correctly. Uh, so everything on the top cells will be upside down. I'm going to use the images from our collections for the zine that I've downloaded and move them onto the zine and again edit it like I've shown with his portrait. Again, making sure that everything's oriented correctly and you just keep going until you fill up all the, the cells. I'm going to show you a quick video of how to fold the zine. So you're going to take your piece of paper, fold it long ways, try to make it as exact as possible. The next, I'm going to fold it the other way, and then I'm going to take my scissors and cut in the middle for just over one cell, push it together long ways, fold the front two pages, then you fold it one more time, and then, then you have your zine. And then you can flip through it to make sure everything looks right. 